G'day guys, Jackson Milan, The Wealth Mentor here. Hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to talk around the similarities between your investment strategy and a 90s R&B classic called Waterfalls by TLC. Um, just listen along and you're going to understand what I'm getting at in a moment. So there's a similarity between this R&B song, phenomenal song by the way, and the way that many entrepreneurs structure their investment strategy is that people are chasing, don't go chasing waterfalls, but you also are chasing returns in your portfolio. And it's not something that you should be doing. So one of the things that we need to realize is that return chasing often causes more harm than good. I've seen many people being extremely tactical, chasing the new hottest stock or the new hottest managed fund, shifting and changing their strategy in order to get a quick return. And this is the same principles that they use to run their business, which works in their business, but can do a tremendous amount of damage in terms of their personal wealth. So TLC gave us some great advice. Don't go chasing waterfalls, stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to. And this is the exact same principles that you should apply to your investment strategy. We should be sticking to our strategy that we've set and we should be focusing on the amount that we contribute to that strategy, not shifting and changing the strategy itself. Because the reality is that it is not timing the market that counts, it is time in the market that counts. We have a well diversified strategy that's focused on having the right asset allocation that aligns with your tolerance for risk, then we really have three levers that we can pull. It's the amount that we contribute, it is the return that we expect to achieve, and it's the amount of time that we can afford to wait. And the last two are things that really, we don't wanna wait any longer than we need to. And there's only so much risk that we can take in order to get a certain return before it becomes asymmetric and we end up taking too much risk, which leaves us with the number one lever that most business owners don't action enough of putting more money into the market. Like, let's look at it this way. You're a business owner. You've got the ability to grow and scale your business every single quarter. You grow and scale your business, you've got more profit, you take that profit out of your business and then you allocate that to your investments. Simple as that. The problem is that we're focusing on the wrong metric. It's one that is completely outside of your control. So you should stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to, treat your business as if it is the cash cow that you're aiming to position it to be, and then we should be focusing on turning that business profit into personal wealth, leaving the strategy as it is, because it is not the return that's gonna get you the results that you really want, it's the amount of money that you put into the market that makes all the difference. So let us know if you've been chasing waterfalls, let us know if you've been chasing returns, and if you want some help sticking to the, the rivers and lakes that you're used to, um, or you wanna get used to some rivers and lakes that are gonna give you the consistency that you really want in your your investments, then hit us up in the DMs. Love to have a conversation and see how we can help you.